Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's me, Mr. Scareman. And today we are here with the second debate of August. Today um, is going to be a debate that I'm actually presenting myself, but I've also heard from a few other people that have commented in videos a few years ago that I saw. So I'm going to be talking about this debate here today. And this debate is should fan films be recognized by studios? So this is an interesting one. And I first got the idea from this because back in, I think, 2016, 2017, Star Wars held an event where they awarded fan films. Like, Star Wars itself, it's on the Star Wars YouTube channel. You can see, like, an event where they award Star Wars fan films. And one of these was Darth Maul Apprentice. That's how I found out about it. And it was, like, a lot of people at Star Wars, like, giving awards and, like, celebrating these Star Wars fan films. And that's good and all. But is that, should a studio be recognizing a Star Wars fan film or any fan film like Spider-Man Lotus would Spider-Man Lotus have been recognized by Marvel before the controversy went down like is it I understand what why Star Wars made that decision because so many Star Wars fan films were coming out around Force Awakens but should a Star Wars should a studio like Disney or this or Lucasfilm or whatever you want whichever studio ran it should they be recognizing a fan like the fan film, like fan films, or is that unfair? Is that destroying the whole purpose of a fan film? Isn't a fan film to be done on your own and not be recognized by a studio? Um, I think honestly, a fan film should be. I like. I don't. It's a very odd thing because I think if fan films start recognizing studios like what Star Wars did, it brought a ton of attention. To things like Darth Maul Apprentice and stuff. Which is great. It really is. But then think about how that's setting a precedent for Star Wars to do that. Like, should Star Wars now continue to be recognizing fan films? Should other things, like, should Marvel be recognizing Marvel fan films? I think that's a very interesting decision for Star Wars to say, let's recognize these fan films. Because then it's taking the fact of a fan film being for by the fans for the fans because now it's being recognized by a studio couldn't a studio then take the idea from that fan film um in my opinion though fan films can be recognized by studios but they do not have a right to be i think the fact that this was phrased by should fan films is a little is wrong fan films do not have a right to be recognized by a studio i don't think a fan film should just release and just say, hey, now I should be recognized by a studio. I think if a group of fan films, kind of like, if certain fan films release, and a studio says, like, after um, Superman Legacy, if a ton of Superman fan films drop, I, wouldn't, I don't think it's a bad thing if DC says, let me recognize these fan films. I don't think it should be an award ceremony where fan films are being voted on which is the best. And I know I do that. Every year, I have the fan film awards where people vote on fan films to see which is best. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm saying, for me at least, I'm a YouTuber with like 300-something subscribers. I'm not having the biggest audience in the world that will see what this is going on and be like, oh god, no, like, I didn't win. Sure, it sucks, but it's not like it's going to be like devastating that you didn't get like recognized by it. Because I, I pretty much review every fan film that I get sent in. But if a studio like Star Wars, or not a studio, I know I'm going to refer to Star Wars as a studio, but that's the YouTube channel that releases, so I'm just going to refer to it as that. Or let's say Marvel did that. It now becomes less of, oh, a studio is doing that. Now it's, like, it's not just like a random YouTuber doing that. It's now a studio that is praising this fan film, and you got, you didn't get enough votes to be recognized by Marvel. If Marvel does something like that, it should be just a people at Marvel saying, I like this fan film, we should recognize it. Not people voting on it to say, which are the best fan films to be recognized by Marvel. Because then it's losing what makes the fan film good. It's losing the idea of a fan film being f by the fans, for the fans. Now it is fan films competing against each other, which a fan film shouldn't do in the face of a studio. Because then it's which fan film is the best to the studio, not which is the best. Like, it's a very interesting thing. Because I bet there's people who are going to say the fan film awards that I run are even shouldn't happen due to fan films competing against each other. 
And sure, you could make that case. But I think the difference between that is you're now going from a small YouTuber doing that to the one of the biggest corporations on the planet. And it's taking it to the point where fan film, like society even, could break down due to the fact that these studios are all now competing to say, oh, last year Marvel did this event where they recognized fan films. What if they do that again? Now we need to produce a fan film with $100,000. And it might feel like there's a higher demand in higher budget fan films to be recognized now by Marvel. And then fan films are now like, oh no, there's no point. I need to make more fan films so I can be recognized. And then if I'm not recognized, then I'm not good enough. I think that is where the issue could come in. Because it it could make fan films not about trying to tell fun stories with characters you love, but more about fan films now competing against each other to be recognized. Not about, oh, I want to make a fan film to tell a story about Gambit, my favorite hero. Not about, oh, I want to make a story about Gambit so that Marvel may be like, oh, that's a great fan film. Let me pour $100,000 into it. And that's where the issue arises. So that is, in my opinion, though, fan films can be recognized by a studio, but it has to be done correct, and it can't be done as a precedent so that fan films then lose their purpose. Because at the end of the day, fan films shouldn't be about being recognized by a studio. It should be about wanting to tell a fun story. So, yeah, I think that's it for this debate. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.